back to the channel. I hope you're blessed and doing well. Today is pepper planting day. I have shown you how I've grown our peppers from seed and now it's time to plant the peppers in the ground. So I'm really excited about today. It's a wonderful time to be in the garden because it's pepper planting day. So yeah, if you haven't sown your peppers yet, you still have time. Um, we're I'm in zone 8A here um, in Georgia and yes it is definitely time to get your um, warm heat loving plants in the ground so all right guys come on out with me in the garden um, and let's get those peppers sown all right guys let's go <laughs> All right, so I still have just a bit more um, working up of this bed to do. And I want to get it just, it, the, the soil is really moist from the rain. We had a really hard rainfall. And what I want to do, because I'm working with red clay, um, I have amended this soil. I will be amending it a little bit more. Um, just to get it as loose as possible um, but the key to this soil is to keep it fluffed and not allowing it to become compacted so you cannot step on these beds once you work them up and they are really fluffy and um, really tilled well and soft you can no longer walk on the bed that is totally prohibited because red clay will get so hard and you know the plants will struggle if the if the uh, soil is too too dense so what i'm doing is i like to create mounds with this type of soil so it gives the root systems a lot of room to go down deep and get established. So I'm just gonna work the soil up and finish getting any weeds that I see. I'm gonna remove them. And bear in mind that I need to cover this soil as well. Once I'm done and I've worked it and I've tilled it well, I need to mulch the beds. So this bed over here, it needs to be mulched. Any uncovered ground will need to be covered to prohibit any weeds to you know grow um and reduce any weed growth it also keeps the soil really moist and holds in the moisture but i like to use wood chips i've used straw and hay well hay before and it was just a slug hotel so I don't like using hay, but I will use wood chips. Wood chips seem to work really, really well for me. And yeah, I'll use them. I'll use the wood chips. So let's just finish getting it really fluffed and worked. And we're gonna go ahead and plant. I'm gonna fertilize the bed as well. Um, peppers are heavy feeders and so they need some nutrients so I will be fertilizing this bed and uh, making sure they have some good nutrition with an organic fertilizer all right so I finished the bed and I've worked it up really really well and it looks like it's pretty good. I, I really am satisfied with it. So that plant right there is celery. It planted itself into the garden and I'm gonna let it stay because celery is pretty tough for me to grow. And since it decided to grow there, I'm just gonna let it grow. Um, but yeah, that's celery. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know how it ended up all the way over here because the celery is on the other side of the bed. So I don't know, maybe I dropped seeds or something like that. But yeah, let's get the pepper planted. Um, let's get the bed fertilized first, and then we'll plant. Here are the peppers and the different varieties that I'll be planting. 
and they look really really good and they're definitely ready to come out of the tray um, have really good leaf growth and if you guys been following along and growing along with me um, you've seen that these peppers have taken a hit of frost and as you can see have bounced back tremendously well um, there are the fish peppers with the bicolor leaves and they are absolutely stunning I love that so um but yeah they have done really well so I'm gonna go ahead and get them out and get them planted in and um, I definitely think I'm gonna need more space for these peppers so this will definitely not be the only bed that I'll use for the peppers um, but I'll just plant out this row for you all today and um, then I'll show you the other location where I'll be planting the rest of them because I do want to give them enough space so that they can get nice and large and they'll have nice air flow um, and they'll do really well. I don't want to crowd them. All right, so the first one that I'm gonna start off with is the Big Red Sweet Pepper. And I have quite a few of these plants and they have done really, really well. This is amazing, I love it. The group growth is outstanding. It's just been watered, that's been watered. This is the plant, really healthy, really healthy plant. Okay, so there we go. This is about a three foot wide bed and I'm going to be planting these about eight, um, about eight inches apart uh, per plant. So I'll plant these here one on one side of the bed and then one on the other side of the bed and we'll go back and forth i'll more than likely i might um i think i'll just do two rows straight down um just to um, just make it easy on myself but i'll stagger them so that they aren't uh, right up on each other i'll just stagger them every other plant that's that's how we'll do it give them plenty of room and I just gently separate them, trying not to disturb the roots too much. And I did really good, so they're great. And just gonna plant it right above the first uh, set of leaves. Placing it down into the hole. And these bugs are out, you guys. That's why I have on my sweater because I do not like getting bitten up by the mosquitoes. No way. Don't like them. <laughs> so I have on my I have on my sweater here. So this one will go here. And it may seem like you know I have a lot of space in between them and you know maybe it's wasted space but these plants can get really large so you definitely want to give them room to grow all right there we go and not stepping on the mound, making sure I don't step on the mound. And I'm just gonna slip my gloves on, protect my hands as much as possible. Reaching in to get another sweet big red. Gently separating out. And you can put some fertilizer down in the hole if you like. I'm just going to put it, I'm just going to top it off on the top. It's 
So you guys have been with me all the way to transplanting out. And if you've made it this far, I wanna commend you and I wanna hope that um, you have had an amazing success with your peppers as well. And um, you know, I'm really happy that you guys have decided to grow along with me. So thank you so much for all of your likes. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate every single one of you. It has been so much fun and we have a ways to go. So if you're enjoying the video so far, you know, hang in there because we have a lot more growing to do. So if you haven't gotten your peppers planted, it's not too late to get your peppers planted. Definitely go ahead and get them planted in. Or get them started. You can start your seeds. You can direct sow them in the ground. Um, I've had pretty good success from both ways, but I've had better success transplanting my peppers into the garden. If they become a little crowded or if anything like that happens, I can always, you know, prune them and tame them. Wow, this is looking really good. This is looking really, really, really good. I'm really happy about this, about the way they're looking. Now, a lot of people ask about topping the peppers. You can top your peppers if you like. This will be a good time to do that. Um, we have one, two, three, four sets of leaves here. And I could actually pinch out the top of this plant and then it would develop, you know, it would just start branching out. I'm gonna wait for just a bit. Um, I'll probably wait for the next set and then I'll um, pinch them out and, and decide from there. Depending on the variety, because we do have some varieties of uh, peppers, like bell peppers that will, um, climb and they'll go a lot higher than just a, a bush and depending on if you want it to climb or not then you want to decide if you want to do that if you want to make it a bushier plant or if you want to you know let it continue to grow up so um, that would be on the variety and that would be definitely up to you guys and we have my neighbor here with me today her name is Caitlin 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 came over from next door over here and she wanted to do what what do you want to do Caitlin I want to help her um, do garden she want to help me in the garden you guys isn't that awesome Woo! so I would love for you to help me you want to help me plant the rest of the peppers yeah. okay awesome let's do it all right guys so Caitlin's brother Caitlin's brother is over there cutting the grass. And so, I'm gonna have to talk up a little bit. All right. 
All right, so Caitlin. All right, she's gonna dig a hole. And you can just set the soil to the side. There you go. Good job. Then we're going to put the plant in here. Let's see. Let's dig it a little bit. Let's put it a little bit deeper, Caitlin. Mm-hmm. You can even use your hand to dig the hole. Yep. Good let's job. Let's put this plant right here. Yep. And then let's cover it up. Cover it up. And you're gonna you're gonna put the soil around it and stand it up nice and straight. There you go. So I added a little spot for Caitlin since she wanted to plant. So this one might be just a little bit closer to that one right there, but it's okay. It's fine. It'll be just fine. I'll prune it nicely. You're doing a great job, Caitlin. So we covered the plant already and it's a pepper. So yeah. it's gonna grow and it's gonna grow and then they're gonna eat it and I hope it's gonna be delicious. It will and you know who else is gonna try it? Us? Yes! Yes, you get to try it too. I'm so excited. Alright, awesome. That over there guys is a little chicken wire. I'm thinking about putting together um, the chicken. Uh, the small chicken coop for the chicken the little chicks that might be coming soon so oh my gosh look at this job good job caitlin you did great thank you ma'am you're welcome you'll be back in the garden again soon yes all right tell everybody bye bye, bye guys wasn't caitlin absolutely adorable she is a gardener in the making i'm gonna tell you right now all right so if you guys have kids get out there grow with them and get growing with them too they will absolutely love it they love to watch things grow from the soil they love to learn things that are new and as you all see we have a kids and teens gardening series and i will definitely uh, leave a link for it so you guys can encourage and inspire your kids to get out and get growing right it'd be so much fun all right guys so Peppers are in! <gasps> Time to celebrate! Woo! Got them in there. guys I hope you all can hear me past the uh, lawnmower over there but yep that's it so far so good and we got everything planted well not everything but we got the first uh, batch of peppers planted um, in the garden and I'm so excited about it so remember to plant your peppers in a sunny spot um, give them plenty of room to grow fertilize them well water them in well deep water them in they love the water um, but peppers are pretty resilient they're pretty drought tolerant too so if you don't get to them it won't be the end of the world but they definitely need attention all right um, what else about peppers um, I believe that's it guys we got them in isn't that awesome first set of peppers in and we are done for the day so like this video if you like it and i hope you do subscribe if you're new and share this video if you want to and we'll see you all on the next video bye